tell us more about the cooperation between your company and the Egyptian government? Um, I should say that I've spent a great deal of time here in Egypt across many different governments actually. I've spent about 120 days in this hotel alone over the past three years. Um, and the one thing that, I, that I'm very, very adamant about and uh, have seen in the recent weeks is a very strong, strong shift in terms of the amount of energy and enthusiasm in the government here in Egypt. And I have to credit specifically uh, Minister Hanafi within the Ministry of Supply for an incredible job and incredible effort in terms of trying to create proactive change. The project that you're talking about is a project that um, is actually being developed by the Ministry of Supply. And the goal and vision for this project speaks to a lot of the items I talked about earlier. It speaks to reducing post-harvest losses. It speaks to improving the amount of markets available to farmers and the amount of markets available to consumers. It speaks to stabilizing prices. It speaks really to improving agricultural logistics all across the country. And the goal of these projects is to achieve those goals, but to achieve them very rapidly. And what I've seen within this new government is that there's an ability to act very quickly and a desire to get things done in not a matter of years, but a matter of months. Um, so they've come and they've approached the best in the industry. We are the leading food safety and security providers across the globe, and they've said, we need to help our people in terms of our agricultural value chains. So we're looking at two specific types of projects here in Egypt. One project is to develop aggregation centers for the wheat harvest that occurs locally here in Egypt. There is a good amount of wheat production that occurs along the Nile, Nile Delta and other areas in the country. Um, but what needs to happen is the government and other sector players need to be able to capture that product and put it into storage so that it doesn't get lost along that value chain. 